teams that came into the NFL together back in 1976. The Seahawks and Bucks are underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Time left on the play clock. Pete Carroll's going to call timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Smith going to go to the air first play. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Dean. And the Bucs are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. An aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? Trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just a little bit too long. He made a nice play on the ball defensively and was able to pick it off. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. From midfield, here's Brady. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They will run for the first time here with White. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Shotgun now for Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field, and it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Looking to throw again on second down. Smith. And yeah, just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety bow. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. They'll run. It's Kenneth Walker. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On first and 10, Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, 
and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second and two. Now Smith finding Lockett for the catch here on the out route. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage afterwards. Got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second down, it's Walker. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Oh, they'll get this to Metcalf on the jet sweep. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Ken Walker taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Brady's throw complete to Otten. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Airing this one out for Evans. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tariq Woolen picks it. And the Seahawks are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. 
even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. On fourth down, Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Walker now on first and 10. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Sticking with Walker on second down. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Ready? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Gets it out quickly here to the left flag. Tyler Lockett. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett. 42 yards. And the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's good to make it 14 0. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taken from about the 12. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. It looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. That throw by Brady incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Let's go now. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Walker. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Throwing again on second down. Smith. And that is incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Warriors, 
Smith on third down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Fournette, a first down carry. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, it's Brady. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket. Touchdown! Mike Evans in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bucs are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Fielded right around the eight. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Now Gino on first down. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. The final shot here before break, Smith. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A one-touchdown ball game. 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. On second and seven, Smith. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that 
defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. In danger of squandering a great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? It's caught. Lock it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Straight ahead running. Here's Dallas. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing now is Gino. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. And Brady's throw there incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? And this one caught by Cameron Bray. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. What a luxury to have a tight end that can run a post route like that. It's a luxury for the offense. It's an extreme luxury for the quarterback. Always has a great outlet and usually able to come up with a nice play down the middle of the field. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Now on second and 13, Brady. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And complete, right side, the tight end Rudolph. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Kyle Rudolph, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bucs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Brady's going to look to throw. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. They didn't want the tie. They roll the dice and they take the lead. That felt like a tone setter, didn't it? Forget tying the ball game and feeling like we're just hanging with you. We're going to go ahead and push it to a one-point lead, and it just changes the complexion of the whole game. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They'll sneak it with Smith. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Here's Walker. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Geno's going to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talking. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Straight ahead, Walker. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now Gino. Throwing the out route and he connects with Fan. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Let's go. Three yards remain for second down. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Dallas up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means it might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bullet. 